If you are on the Jeffco Google Apps Resources page, you'll see a link to Blogger under Self-Supported Apps. Or you can open any internet browser and simply type blogger.com. You'll be prompted to sign in. Now it's important that if you're using your school email address, which for students is their ID number, that they include the at jeffcoschool.us after it. It is not already included for them. And then their password would be their birthday. You can also sign up for Blogger with your personal Gmail account. If this is your first time accessing your Blogger account, you will be prompted to set your display name. Now please note that when you post in Blogger, your posts are public. So for students, I always recommend that they only use their first name and their last initial. Teachers, you'll want to post however you want your name to display to your students. You'll need to accept the terms of use and click the continue button. Getting your blog set up requires just a few simple steps. First of all, you'll want to click the new blog button. And you'll need to title your blog. Your blog address is customizable unlike some of the other Google features. So you can have some fun and pick an address that you think is easy for your students to remember. So you could name it your classroom. As soon as you get the blue check mark, that means that address is available. And then you can start with a template here. Now it's very easy to make changes to your templates later. But I'm going to go ahead and just choose picture window to start with and I'm going to click create blog. And just like that, your blog is created and you are ready to post. So you can view your blog to see what it looks like, or you can start posting. When I choose to, to start a post, I just need to title my post. And add content. When you post, it brings up a rich text editor, so you can put in text. You can change font, change colors. Bold italicize all the typical features you're used to in a word processing editor. You can also add in movies by clicking the insert video feature. And when you're done, you just click publish. After I post, I'm taken to basically a list of all my posts where I can edit, view, or delete this. I'm going to go ahead and take us back to kind of the dashboard landing page. You can always get there by clicking on my blogs. And again, there's some shortcuts right here. I can I could create one more post. I can see I already have one post done. And I can view my blog to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and take a look at that post on the page. This is what my blog is going to appear like to those who visit my page. So they'll be able to see my title. They'll be able to view the video. And they will be able to enter this discussion and make comments. So they could go in after they click on the title of the discussion and they can go and post their own comments. But if I want to customize the appearance of my blog, I can certainly do that. So let's go ahead and go back and I'll show you how to do that. Now if you're in the viewing mode of your blog, you can again, there's always a shortcut to quickly post. Blogger is about allowing you to quickly post content. There's also a link to design. That is going to take me to my template designer. Another way to get here Again, from your blogger dashboard or landing page, this is where you post, this is where you view your blog, and everything else is in the middle drop down menu. You can go down and see you have a quick link to template here. So I'm going to go ahead and customize the template by clicking the orange button. And here I have several different templates that I can choose from. So if I want to go ahead and make a, a drastic change to the theme, I can. And down below, my box will change. I could also go item by item here on the left and make some changes this way. So I can go into the background and there is a background image right now that I can remove or I can replace by clicking on it and it brings up a vast gallery of many many other choices. And I can scroll through these every time I click on one of the choices down below in the preview box my blog changes so I can see what it will look like. When I'm happy with it I can click done in there, these are abstract categories. There are many, many, many different categories on the left that you can choose from and find something that suits your taste just perfectly. You can also adjust the width of your blog. Right now, the entire blog is taking up 960 pixels, and there's a sidebar on the right that's taking up 300. So you can adjust this very easily. Again, you can see if I make um, my blog larger, it's going to expand in the area down here. And I probably need to make my sidebar a little smaller um, accordingly. So you want to try and match it. Understand that many screens might not be as wide as the one that you are working on. And so you want to try and keep it constrained to close to the original proportions 
total pixels, but you can adjust the sidebars. You can go into the layout feature, and these are the basic body layouts. So right now, this is what I have, a title, a main area, and a sidebar. And then I have a footer layout over here. But you can go and you can adjust these if you wanted the sidebar on the other side, or sidebars on each side, or not, no sidebar, you can go into those. And then the advanced setting is really not advanced. Don't let it scare you away. It's just some things you might want to further customize. So the body text right now is set to Arial. If you don't like that body text, you can change it to, if you like Calibri better, switch to that. You can change the size of the text. And you can go through all of these. Again, you can adjust background colors, links, tabs. Everything is customizable in Blogger. When you're happy with it, you will click Apply to Blog. And then I will usually go in and I will view my blog and see what it looks like. Now there are some other things I might want to change too. I have a blog archive gadget over here and an about me gadget over here. I don't know if I want those. I might want some other ones. So I'm going to again go in and go into my design. And before I customize the template itself, I think I'm going to go back in and adjust my layout. So the layout has basically the just the different plugs, the, the different gadgets that are on the site. So the blog posts are going to go here in the middle, the header is going to go there, there's a navigation bar up here, and currently I have a blog archive and an about me gadget. So if I don't want an about me gadget, I can click edit, and I can click the remove button. If I want to add a new gadget, I click the link and the most popular gadgets are populated in this feature here. So you might want to add a list or a link list to other websites. And so if you wanted to say add a link to um, the school website and some other things, you can just click this one here and you could call it useful links. Or you might want to add a gadget for just a basic picture. You can add pictures that are online by using their URL, or you can browse to a picture that is already located on your computer. So this is how you can further customize the layout of your site. When you're happy with it, click Save, Arrangement. And then I also always like to view the blog just to see how it looks. And I have a funny picture of the day, and I still have the blog archive, but the About Me gadget is now gone. So just like that, your first blog is already ready to go and has a post for students to reply to. But before you link this to your classroom website, which you could do just by linking this address here, or before you send this out to your students, I do know teachers who simply use Blogger as their classroom website, there are a few features that you may want to, and settings that you may want to adjust, and things to be aware of before you send this out. The first is, right across the top here, there's a navigation bar, and it has a nice search feature, and also has a quick link to your design, and it has a link that says Next Blog. This is really important to know that this is here, um, when this link is clicked, Blogger just randomly picks up any other blog in its archive, any of them. So it may or may not be appropriate. You can just warn your students um, about that, that they won't know where they end up if they click that, if they click that link, or you can remove it. It does require going into the HTML code, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. There are some, there are some other design things you might want to adjust as well, though. So let's go ahead and go into design. And if I were at my Blogger dashboard, I could also access this using the drop down here and I could go into my settings. This is where you have some of your basic settings, title, description, and here's some of your privacy options. So let's go ahead and see what's visible to those. Do you want your blog added to those listings? Usually I'll say no so that mine does not come up randomly when someone clicks next blog. And do I want search engines to find it? Typically, I'll say no as well. I pretty much want to direct my students there through a link. At this point, you could always change the address of your blog, and you could add in more authors. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. And then scroll down here under Blog Readers. I can click Edit. Now, right now, my blog is set so that anybody can read it. I can change it so only blog authors could read it, or only these readers. So this would be a closed kind of domain blog. You would have to invite all of your students by entering their email addresses into this box and clicking Save Changes. Typically, I will go ahead and leave mine open to anybody, but if you want it, yours very well locked down, this is where you can do that. There are a couple other things I adjust under the settings before I send my blog out. One is under Post and Comments. 
This is where you can adjust how many posts are going to show on your main page and add in any templates that you might want to be using. Down below, you're asked who can comment on your page. So can anyone, including anonymous users, registered users who have what's called an open ID. I typically limit this to users with Google accounts. And again, if you want to, you can limit it only to members of the blog. Comment moderation means you want to have to approve all comments before they're actually posted on the web. So an email would come to you with a student's comment and you would ha basically have a button that says, yes, go ahead and post this to the web. So do you want to do this always, sometimes, or never? Sometimes would be for posts maybe that are in your archive that you don't want people commenting on. And so this is really only allows you to limit it by time. Usually I'll leave this to never because I don't want to comment moderate, but if you feel like you want to, you can click always. It is easy to delete inappropriate comments from the blog um, after they're posted. So usually I will do that and then um, work with that student individually later on. I'm going to go ahead and save those settings. And now I'm going to go into mobile and email. This is an important one if you don't want to be emailed constantly and have your inbox filled up with all kinds of messages letting you know that students have posted to your blog. So right now at the top there is a feature to post using email. I just have that disabled and I post right from Blogger. And then I have a comment notification email. Basically this is going to send me a message every time somebody posts to my blog. So if you don't want that then you just would go in and click remove. And so you will not be emailed every time someone posts to the blog. I can quickly fill up your inbox if you have large classes and many of them. If you do want to be notified every time someone goes to the blog to post so that you can go check those, it will also include what they have said. Then you can click add and you will basically put in your email address. Save your settings. And that is basically everything I adjust when I'm getting up, when I'm getting my blog set up. So you always can again from your blogger dashboard, this is the page that you'll always land on when you come into your blog. You have a quick link to create a new post. You can view your blog or you can go in and you can use this drop down to quickly see um, the content. So if you just want to see the student comments and you don't want to view them on the blog, you can just go to the comments feature here and any of the published comments will be organized on this page right here. Right now this is a new blog so there are no published comments. And when you're getting your students trained to use your blog, um, just always remind them that even though they can read the post here to actually comment on this post, they will need to go ahead and click on the title of the post and they'll know they're in the right spot because they'll see the comment box.